Dolphins finally managed to win in Sydney. The Parramatta Eels lose again. And TJC Sports has been gone for a week. What a long round it was. And now we get on with the next one, Legends. G'day, Legends. TJC Sports here. And after a long-needed rest from being sick, I am back. We are back with another NRL Round Predictions video. This one, slightly shorter than the rest. Um, not one of our mini videos, but due to the fact that it's a smaller round due to Origin and the buys, um, it will naturally be shorter. We'll be predicting five games in this one, so let's hope instead of getting that perfect eight out of eight week, we get the five out of five. Last week, though I didn't make a video, I got six out of eight, so not too bad. It's more than the total games this round. So, statistically, I should totally be getting 5 out of 5 legends. It's confirmed. These are the official tips. Make sure you like and subscribe if you enjoy. Keep in mind, these are just my opinions and not fact. And you're free to let me know in the comments down below your thoughts. And let's get on with it. We kick things off with the Dolphins versus the Melbourne Storm legends. Both teams coming off victories. One from home, one from away. And both decently origin impacted. With Dolphins missing Kafusi and Hammer, and the Melbourne Storm missing Coates and Harry Grant. While I think Melbourne Storm have been the better looking team, don't move anything past the Dolphins. They've been pretty alright, all things considered, Legends. And could definitely be one of the proper upsets this round. However... Even if I don't think that there's zero chance of a victory for Dolphins, I am going to be going with a Melbourne Storm victory, Legends. I'll say that they win 1-12 to as well. I think that while, yes, both teams are missing players, the impact Hammer being gone will have. Try feel is great at all, but for me, I just cannot look past the Storm here. Plus, technically, because they've only played once, the Storm have a 100% win rate, so that helps out for me. Told you guys. We're getting the perfect week, baby. And with Pappy back, that just seals this tip for me. Now let's move on to the next game. Next up, it'll be the Titans versus the Warriors. And we all know how this went last time in New Zealand with the Titans coming up on top. Both teams coming off losses, however, you could argue that Titans was a little bit worse as at least with the Warriors won, the Melbourne Storm are absolute contenders. Both teams are the kind of teams where on their day, they can absolutely put up a great fight. And I do expect an effort to be shown from both these teams in this game. Warriors are missing three players with Mitch Barnett and Kirk Catwell at origin for Blues and the Maroons respectively. With, of course, DWZ also out for separate reasons. And then for the Titans, they're missing Ford Waker to Queensland. I think you could justify tipping either team in this one, but I'm going to lean towards the New Zealand Warriors. Yes, I know they have a few out, more than the Titans, but I just got a feeling. I'll also be going with it to be 1-12. to I think the Warriors have been improving recently and can get the result. We then move on to Roosters Doggies. The Roosters missing four players for Origin. The Bulldogs are just one. Much to the relief of many Bulldogs fans who were worried that Matt Burton may have been trapped as 18th man once again. Last time these two teams played, Dominic Young actually got sent off and the Bulldogs managed a victory. So that's another positive sign for Doggies fans. With the Roosters in 5th and the Dogs in 6th as well, hopefully that means we're in for a great game of footy. Tipping is never easy, but this game in particular is the definition of a flip of the coin, and tipsters could go either way. But for me, I've got a hunch on this one, okay? Yes, I get that the, uh, I think the Sydney Roosters should win in terms of the team they are, but I've got a feeling here, and I'm going to say that the Bulldogs win 1-12 to Legends in an upset. With the origin players that the Roosters have out compared and how the dogs have been looking, which isn't too bad if you actually look at it. The dogs have been looking pretty gosh darn good, guys. And I hate to say that as an eel supporter. So, yeah, I believe that the Canterbury Bankstown Bulldogs will just about best the Sydney Roosters. Call me crazy if you'd like, but it's close enough to me. And yes, legends, who knows? Maybe I just don't really care enough to think hard enough considering both these teams beat my eels. But we will never really know, not even I. Let's just get on with the next game. 
Then we shall be hopping along down to the final game of Saturday, the Bunnies versus Manly. We have a ton of outs in this game. Two for the South Sydney Rabbitohs, Latrell Mitchell and Cameron Murray. And a whopping five out for the Manly Warringah Seagulls, with three of them being origin-related and another two being unrelated. If there was ever a time this season where Manly would struggle against a side, this is definitely the game. Let's keep that in mind, Legends. No need to worry, though, as they have the GOAT, Luke Brooks. So while there's a good chance of a loss... They've got a big benefactor in that. A key bit of news happened this week for the South Sydney Rabbitohs. It actually only happened today, really, in official news that Damian Cook has signed with the Dragons for next season. So I'll be keen to see if that impacts the mentality of this team at all. If anything, I think it just lifts the buddies up to improve it even more above what they have already been showing the last couple of weeks. But we will see. I know upsets like this that nobody tips happen all the time, but I'm not going to go past my feelings here. I'm going to go with the South Sydney Rabbitohs to win this, and I reckon they win probably, even if it's a low one of it, a 13-plus victory. Final game of the round now, the Tigers versus the Raiders. The Tigers hoping to get their first win since 2018 over the Faders. The Tigers last week just managing to grab the little extra points and win over the Titans last week and the Raiders coming off a very disappointingly poor loss to the North Queensland Cowboys. On the bright side though, because no players have been picked for Origin, hopefully we can see the best from both these teams. I'm never astonished about the potential of a surprise uh, result in a game, but I think I'm going to lean towards the Canberra Raiders in this Legends. Could the Tigers use last week's win over the Titans as a way to bounce back and revive their season? Maybe, who knows? Nothing is ever impossible in rugby league. But I'm leaning towards more so the Raiders bouncing off their incredible loss last week. I reckon Ricky will pull some of those boys aside. If there's one coach that will get them up, it's him. And I'll even go with them to win 13+. plus. Anyways, Legends, those were my incredible NRL Round 16 predictions. Feel free to let me know in the comments down below what you think. Make sure you like and subscribe if you enjoyed and you're new. And I'll see you guys in the next one.